Hi there. Now here we've got a typical question on connected particles. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to read the question, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to show that the acceleration of A is G over 7 and also find the tension in the string as A ascends. So the first thing I'd want to do in questions like this is to mark on the forces acting on the particles. So for A we've got the weight, okay, which clearly acts down and that weight will be 3mg. 3mg newtons then. And we've got the weight of these two particles which combined is going to be 4mg that acts downwards. And then we've got the tensions in the two strings. They're going to act upwards, okay, irrespective of which way the particles move. Now the two tensions are going to be exactly the same. Quite often we're asked why are they the same. Uh, we're not in this question, but if ever you are, remember it's because the pulley is smooth. Okay, so we've got that, and then we've got to mark on the accelerations. Now, A is ascending, so it's gaining speed, and its acceleration then will mark in like that. We'll call it A. Now, as A ascends, the particles B and C descend, and they will accelerate, and the accelerations will be exactly the same. And the reason why that is, because we often ask that as well, is that the string is inextensible. It doesn't stretch. So as soon as this particle moves, this one will move as well. Okay? So there are the forces and the accelerations on each of the particles. Now, what I'm going to do is consider looking at particle A, resolving in a vertical sense, and then looking at particles B and C and resolving in a downward sense, form two equations which we should be able to solve simultaneously for the acceleration and the tension. So let's start then with part one, where I'm going to look at particle A. I'm just going to say consider A here. It gives the reader a chance to know which part we're going with. Okay, so consider A and going to look at the equation of motion, that's force equals mass times acceleration, when we take upwards as positive. So we've got T acting upwards, and then we've got the weight acting downwards, minus 3mg. That's the overall force acting on A, and it's equal to the mass times acceleration. The mass then is 3m, and the acceleration is A. So we've got two unknowns here, the tension T and the acceleration A. So it's going to be simultaneous equations, so I'm going to number that equation 1. We'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, so where do we go next? Well, we look at these two particles here. So I'm just going to say consider, we'll say B and C, okay? Consider B and C. And for this, because it's moving downwards, going to look at applying Newton's equation of motion, downwards, resolve downwards. Force equals mass times acceleration. So you've got the force, which acts downwards, is for mg. Then you've got the tension, which acts in the opposite sense, that's minus t. And that's the force equals the mass times acceleration. The mass is 4m, and the acceleration is a. And I'm going to call this equation number two. So what can we do? Well, in questions like this, all I need to do is add the two equations. I can see that the t's will cancel one another out. So we just put equation one plus equation two. And what we've got then is 4mg minus 3mg, which is going to be mg. The tensions cancel one another out, T add minus T, that's zero. And then we've got equals, and we've got 3MA plus 4MA, which is 7MA. 
and the m's now cancel they're in each term so we can divide through by m and you can see that if we make a the subject divide both sides by 7 you get that the acceleration is g divided by 7 okay which is what we had to show so that's part one now we've just got to go on and find the tension and all this is is just to substitute our value for the acceleration we'll just put it in here substitute the value for acceleration a in say equation one doesn't matter in equation two if you like but uh, if we substitute it in one what we've got is therefore the tension t minus 3mg is equal to 3m times the acceleration a which is now g over 7 and if we rearrange this make t the subject by adding 3mg to both sides you should see that you get uh, well three whole ones is 21 sevenths okay mg plus another 3mg that's going to be 24 sevenths 24 sevenths mg Okay.